neurodevelopmental disorder, he has difficulty swallowing. What we try to do is try to see which textures are the safest for the children to process. Okay. You're sounding really good. Too. Dr. Gina Rempel works with Shane and other children with swallowing problems. Right now, she sees about 250 children in a clinic at Children's Hospital. She helps develop safe feeding programs for them. With funding from the Children's Hospital Research Foundation, Dr. Rempel is embarking on a research project that she hopes will result in a new diagnostic tool. These moving x-rays are currently the most effective way to discover swallowing problems. This x-ray shows a normal swallowing pattern. See how smoothly the food runs down the back of the throat? But in a child with swallowing problems, the food gets caught at the back of the throat and can actually end up in the lungs. The immune systems get going to try to fight this foreign body that's there, and it can result in, in lung scarring, it can result in pneumonias, and quite a bit of illness. Okay, that's just a fancy microphone. <laughs> Dr. Rempel will study what normal and abnormal swallowing sounds like in children. This is the first time a study like this has been done. We can listen with a specialized microphone taped to the child, which is analyzed by a computer then, so we get a correlation of not only the way they breathe and swallow, but also um, of whether or not we're actually hearing the food going down the wrong way. So he has an expiration immediately after. We think we would add a very important diagnostic technique to our regular clinical evaluation because it could be done as often as we want in a setting that we want with food that the child's comfortable with. This is the food that Shane gets. It's a Nutrin 1.5 and in that can he'll get 375 calories, which for him to eat that would take us the better part of the morning and part of the afternoon. So Because swallowing is so difficult for Shane, he gets his meals from a feeding tube. Learning to eat is important for socialization and, of course, pleasure. And we go. Chew and chew and chew. If we can understand what normal swallowing is, what abnormal swallowing is, and if we can find some non-invasive tools to, to look at this uh, in detail um, and to provide good information for families in developing a feeding program for their children, uh, we'll all be much better off. Yeah, ah, you did great. <laughs> Just super. And joining us here, Linda Dobbins, as well as Shane. Hey, Shane, there's Shane having fun here at the picnic today. And we've also got the uh, grandparents back here. Uh, Linda, uh, talk about Dr. Uh, Rempel a little bit. Dr. Rempel is wonderful. We were sent to her after um, we'd been tested and we'd been going through a lot of stuff. Shane already had the tummy tube and uh, he'd spent about two and a half, three years going through testing and, and finding out the problems and it was all tied into the cerebral palsy. And it was finally after we'd, we'd uh, gone through all this, we went to Dr. Rempel and it was the first time that anybody would ever watched Shane eat. Wow. With all the problems he'd had, nobody ever sat down and ever said, how does he do this? Right. And uh, it was her, her watching that that we realized that, you know, well, even with his uh, g-tube in there we still tried to keep him eating as much as we could yeah. and uh, it was her um, seeing this that we realized he's never going to gain weight if we keep making him eat orally because yeah. uh, you know monitoring how he his temperature climbs and how right. hard it is for him so yeah. uh, we just kind of fell in love with her yeah <laughs> well I'll tell you Shane you have a beautiful son yes, and I know right. how excited you are about uh, all the work that uh, that Dr. Rempel has helped you mm -hmm. with and, uh, and and we have to thank you for coming out and oh, thank well. you Shane for coming out today buddy because you know yeah, yeah and Greg would have been well you know you know you know what I are you really? Is that what Dad's doing today? He's farming today, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got you got to get out there and help Dad, Shane. Now, oh, come he's, on. He's the chief gopher with Mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, grandparents. Good to see you all here today. This is the kind of stuff that your dollars do.